<laughs> Ever get the feeling you've been cheated? If you're looking for a watchable action series from recent times, you won't go far wrong with the thrilling and refreshingly entertaining Fowder. With its incredibly authentic feel and old-fashioned cliffhangers, it's what Hollywood used to do to perfection a decade ago. Now we have to look to foreign fields to get an action series that makes sense. A TV show that has a strong decisive male lead who embodies positive male traits? A story with good men who are willing to do bad things for the sake of their blood, nation, and adoptive family slash military unit. It emphasizes loyalty, strength, ingenuity, determination, and that old fashioned virtue of moral courage. Gender roles are traditional and realistic. Female characters display all the same qualities as their male counterparts, but thankfully in a believable way. There's no degrading of the men or tearing down the patriarchy to elevate overpowered women. Watching an Israeli production means the actors were all unknown, which helps give an authentic feeling. These are not Woody Allen, Ben Shapiro-esque neurotic beta Jews, but kick-ass Radon and Tebi Israelis, and despite it being told from the side of Israelis, the Palestinians were not one-dimensional bad guy stereotypes. There was nuance to the portrayals, and they had understandable grievances. You even feel empathy for suicide bombers, which is quite an achievement for a TV show. One of the few off-putting things about the show was its dub version could be a little clumsy, but the dubbing of Hebrew into English works here because of the importance to the story of the mixing languages and cultures. This is the sort of TV show America used to do so well, and the sort of action series The Daily Wire should produce if they want to really take on Hollywood. Fowder feels like a show that could have been made in England pre-2016, but it's almost unthinkable today. This is a show made by grown-ups for grown-ups, not TV by committee by industry types fresh out of university with no real-world experience or empathy for people with real-world experience. The people that made this show are ex-military, and what the show lacks in slick Hollywood production, it makes up for in its living on the edge of Western democracy Israeli experience, a show that still knows the importance of fighting for your friends, family, and homeland. <laughs>